Hi, Thailand is a land of sensuality. It's a land of beaches, and a land of majestic mountains, a land with sights and sounds. Oh yeah, constant sounds. I came here to Benjasiri Park to get some quiet. Instead, I got a noisy construction site across the lake. It's a noisy place. But amongst the sounds, sights, and sensual input that comes from you from everywhere in Thailand is also aromas. Yeah, well, there's no way to transmit aromas on these digital apparatus at these point. But hey, you know, when Silicon Valley figures that one out, Go placidly amongst the noise and haste, said a poem from the 1960s, Desiderata, I think that was. And while well, that's probably good advice if you're living in Southeast Asia, because there's plenty of uh, haste and noise to go around here. So this video is about some of the many reasons that I do choose Thailand and Bangkok specifically as my retirement home, my permanent home at this point. And in my last video, I was a little bit critical of other places and I realized that's not the approach I want to take, but there are a lot of reasons why I like it here. And that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. I'm standing under the BTS line, a, a light transit system, light rail transit system that runs the length of a Sukhumvit road, which is a very well-traveled uh, old uh, old roadway that runs through Bangkok and beyond the places both north and south and any way you look down this corridor or even up the other way you will find high-end shopping malls such as the one that I'm standing near now called M Quartier or Emporium on my right it's uh, on both sides of the uh, of the corridor of the BTS corridor and it contains all of the upscale kind of shopping that one might want if you're interested in that type of thing. Nice little uh, Gucci lady uh, posing kind of coyly for you over there. There is no shortage of high-end stuff available here. So just a short distance behind me is the Siam station of the BTS line. When I was growing up in the States, I always thought it was pronounced uh, Siam, but here they pronounce it Siam, and it is their word. So the Siam station of the BTS line, a short walk from that will take you to MBK Center. MBK is a gigantic discount mall. I don't know of any Walmart or Target type of stores here. Uh, that's where you want to go, is MBK. Uh, it is several floors in a very large complex of clothing, dry goods, electronics, all at a discount. Be a, a cautious buyer in there. You, know, you get a lot of knockoff stuff. So if you know how to pick out good stuff at a bargain, that's the place you want to go. I found for me a nice alternative to the expensive shops or the less expensive shops. Something right in the middle is a Massimo Dutti, which is a Spanish uh, chain of, uh, of stores that have both men's and women's clothing. And I find some really stylish stuff in here at times. One of the places that I like. The Central is a chain of shopping malls. There are several of them around Bangkok in different areas. And this one is the central, central, I suppose. It's near the Chitlom BTS station. One of the things that I've found available here at Central Mall are larger shoe sizes, or in this case, sandal sizes. So yeah, I just found a pair of sandals that fit. When World War II broke out in the United States, American socialite, uh, Jim Thompson, uh, secured himself a position with, as an officer in the U.S. Army and eventually became a spy for the OSS. He ended the war here in Thailand and like many servicemen before him and since who have come to this region of the world, he didn't want to leave and go home when the war was over. So he stayed here and put together this magnificent house and 
next to his silk factory. This very accomplished individual, very storied man who I've come to admire. He lived his life here, built a silk empire, and he lived in this home. It's a beautiful place and now a museum. If you visit Bangkok, it's a must-see kind of place. But that's not why I'm here today. I came to go shopping. His silk business still exists. And he sells beautiful clothing. Well, he doesn't. He's long since passed away. But his business, the Jim Thompson line, which is a uh, high fashion line that I'm not familiar with from the States. I don't know if it exists in the States, but it sure does here in Bangkok. And if you're interested in beautiful silk clothing, this is the place you want to go. Jim's fashions are primarily focused toward women, but he does have a nice selection of uh, T-shirts, uh, golf style shirts, a couple of sweatshirts here, and uh, Hawaiian style shirts, all in silk. Some of them quite beautiful and colorful. The prices range for t-shirts from about $55 up to $100 for the more expensive shirts here, which is a little bit pricey for sure, but it's high quality stuff and I've owned his stuff in the past. It lasts a long time, holds up well. Um, so yeah, nice, nice stuff. Here in Bangkok, there is a, a certain style that's available. It's available in other big cities too. But I just kind of like Bangkok. There's a certain uh, je ne sais quoi here, a, uh, a way of life available that you can't quite get elsewhere. Because in addition to the stylishness, there's, a, uh, there's an economy to the place as well. You can do it all cheaply if you want. But what I'm doing, see, I'm making a lot of videos and planting this old mug on, on the video screen. And, you know, I'm no spring chicken. You know, there's no way to, you know, for me to recapture my old studly days. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dress myself up in some fancier clothing and put a little lipstick on a pig, so to speak. And it is my intention to do some shopping and you know, up my game a little bit in the style department, for at least the time that I spend here in Bangkok. So that's why I was pointing out all of these places today where one can do that. What I'm going to do in the future, too, is tackle another aspect of dressing oneself up, something that's available all over Asia, but certainly here in Bangkok as well, and that's bespoke clothing that rates a video all its own, you know, made to order shirts, suits, shoes, things like that. I'm going to do a whole video about that somewhere down the road. So, yeah, this is the first of a bunch of videos that I'll put in a playlist. I guess I'll call it something like you know, the reason I retired in Bangkok, you know, because there's a lot of stuff here that I like. And I'm going to show you what that is, and maybe you'll like it too, maybe you won't. It's uh, whatever. This is my life. Thanks for watching. See you soon.